Yo, what's going on everyone? You guys got the Barkage Huff. The Eden Gaines Village back here today for another video. Special video today. This time I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys my top three favorite calisthenics athletes, which is pretty cool because I've never actually really shared with anyone on the channel uh, the athletes that I really like to watch and follow closely. So very excited to do that today. And keep in mind that when we're talking about my favorite athletes, that doesn't necessarily mean that these are the three best or strongest athletes. Now, don't get me wrong. All three of these guys are, of course, God tier, top level strength and very, very strong. Um, <clears throat> But when it comes to picking a favorite athlete, uh, more than just the strength level comes into play. Uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, the style and just your preference for the skills that they do. So anyway, without further ado, we are going to get right into it. Kicking things off with, uh, this is in no particular order actually, but first athlete I'm going to be talking about is actually someone who is fairly unknown still, which is really weird because this man's push level is just off the charts, and that is uh, W1NG dot underscore dot street workout 21. We call him Wing, um, because I guess the one is supposed to be read as an I, but it is W1NG, but it is Wing. Anyway, Wing is someone I found pretty recently, probably like a couple months ago, but I immediately just started liking all of his videos and really started following pretty closely because he does some pretty freaking epic push skills. Uh, he's got really, really good and clean uh, planche push-ups. He has Pelican. Uh, he does <clears throat> dead planche push-ups, uh, dead wide push-ups. Uh, really, really cool stuff, uh, from wing. He's got a really cool style too. He's always in a, uh, it, it's like a street workout gym. He's from Hong Kong. So I guess it's a street workout gym in Hong Kong, but it's always really cool to see because there's usually people around him just kind of watching and hyping him up. And just the videos that he takes in that setting at that gym are really cool to watch. And I really enjoy it. <clears throat> Um, also, um, I, I'm not, I'm not really too into the freestyle aspect, but fun fact is that wing actually does freestyle and apparently is pretty good. Uh, but I think his static level is obviously a lot, uh, higher than his freestyle game, but regardless, really, really cool to see him doing freestyle as well as the really high level push skills that he does. So that is Wing for you, one of my favorite athletes. Um, and of course, every athlete that I'm talking about, their Instagram is going to be linked down below. <clears throat> okay, up next uh, is going to be Zeolis. Now, <clears throat> Zeolis is uh, an athlete that I also found pretty recently, probably in about March of last year. Whenever I did my uh, Zeolis versus my Ellie reaction for the Burning Gate 2019, that is when I really found out who Zeolus was. I might have seen clips of him before that, but after I saw that battle, that is what really piqued my interest and got me to go check out more of his clips and check out his Instagram. And I immediately fell in love because uh, it seemed that he was also really, really into anime as well. And uh, obviously for me, someone that really likes anime, I'm more inclined to uh, like an athlete that also <laughs> anime if that makes sense um but no the style of Zeolus' videos for me is just really really cool uh he usually is playing a song that's usually higher tempo it's pretty fast pace usually from an anime and on top of that his clips are also sped up i don't know what it is there's just something that's real a really really cool vibe that he creates in his videos with the songs he chooses and the speed of his clips. The only thing I will say about the songs that he picks is that every single time I watch one of his videos, I'm always like, oh, I, I know that I know this song, but I just can't put my finger on the anime that it's from. But regardless, I really enjoy that. And it goes without saying that Zeolus has top tier skills in both push and pull. Uh, he does insanely long planche combos with dead planche push-ups, uh, deep push-ups, archer, typewriter, the whole nine yards. He does Maltese too. Everything in his push is just absolutely insane. Also, super high level in pull as well. He does Victorian on rings. He has straight arm touch. Uh, 
he's getting very close to uh, a legitimate one-arm touch front lever. And on top of that, he does reps on reps, uh, regular front lever pull-ups, one-finger front lever pull-ups. Zeolus is just a master at uh, what he does, and that is why <clears throat> he is uh, one of my favorite athletes. Um, <clears throat> all right. Now, moving on to the final athlete that I'm going to discuss in this video, and I know I said this is in no particular order, but I think uh, as of right now, this final athlete that I'm going to talk about in this video is probably my favorite, and that is XGP, or Xiao Gong Pao, <laughs> the small steel cannon. Um, anyway, XGP is, he's like a myth. He is like just a legend in the community because his clips are extremely rare to find. He's not on Instagram. You can actually only, he only posts on Chinese TikTok. Well, and I think Billy Billy too, which is like a Chinese YouTube, but also he mainly posts on Chinese TikTok, which uh, is not accessible for quite a few countries, if I'm not mistaken. So the best way, if you want to check out XGP clips, and I've used clips from his channel in this video as well, uh, you can check out my buddy Only Static. He has a uh, XGP playlist on his channel, which is also going to be in the description, but he's made amazing edits of uh, XGP with all these super rare clips. Um, so Idol, we thank you for it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so XGP clips down below. Only static, check him out. Um, but yeah, XGP is absolutely insane. Uh, he is a push god. He does the uh, supinated, his, his signature move is the deep supinated planche push up, which is extremely, extremely hard, but he makes it look so easy. <laughs> he does that. He does thumb planche, fingertip planche, fingertip Maltese. He's really, really good at Maltese too. He does really cool dragon skills. Um, basically any skill, oh, he does, he does a lot of ring stuff too. He can do VG on rings. It, it, basically any push skill that you can think of XGP can probably do in his sleep. And then the other thing <laughs> why I really like him too, is he just has a really good style and his personality is off the charts. Uh, you can never understand what he's saying, but sometimes before he does a set, he'll give like a little spiel before he does it. And even though, like I said, I can't understand the Chinese, it's just really funny because it's always like he's calling someone out or, or something like that. It's really funny. I'm going to put at the very end of this video, I'm going to put a little, the funny, what I think is the funniest uh, little XGP speech before he does his set. So <clears throat> yeah, XGP overall, just insane. Se seems like a myth almost because of how clean his skills are and how rare it is to see his clips. So absolutely love XGP top tier in push. <clears throat> um, so yeah, guys, that pretty much, uh, wraps up this video. So once again, just to kind of reiterate who my favorites are really like uh wing Zeolus and, uh, XGP, uh, definitely feel free to comment below what you thought of this video, as well as some of your favorite, uh, street workout athletes. Of course, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.